In this video we are going to take a look at the administration page of your private space, where you can set up and manage all of your space background information. Note that access to the administration page is only available to the users with the administrator role. If the administration page is not visible to you, it is because you do not have administrative rights. In this case, contact the space administrator about updating the subscription information. The administration page is accessed by clicking on the settings icon and then selecting the administration page. Once you are within the administration page, there are four tabs available. Dashboard, Projects, Users, and Zoom. In the previous video, we have explained how to set up your initial space settings. You can update this information by clicking on the space settings button. You can also update your contract information at any time by clicking on the Get Quote button. A new window will open, where you have three available tabs. Contract tab, where you have the option to update your subscription. Payment method tab, where changes to the payment method can be made by selecting the preferred payment option. And billing info, where you can manually update your billing information. Now that we have reviewed your subscription information, we can go back to the overall dashboard page to review other space management tabs. Starting with the projects tab, where we have an overview of all active projects, as well as inactive projects by turning off the hide inactive projects toggle. You can also view the list of the deleted projects by clicking on the trash bin icon. The project list can be conveniently sorted by clicking on various headers. As an administrator, you can access the project and make changes, only if the project leader has not restricted your access under the project settings. By clicking on a project name, you can view and update any project settings. You can also update the project setup information by clicking on the Edit Project button in the top right corner. From the next tab, Users, you can access an overview of active and inactive users in the space. Active users are users that can log into the space, be added and actively participate in projects, while inactive users cannot participate in projects and are restricted from logging into the space. Similar to the Projects tab, you can reveal the inactive users by turning off the Hide Inactive Users toggle, view a list of the deleted users by clicking on the trash bin icon, and sort the list by clicking on any headers. Clicking on a username will take you to a single user menu where you have an overview of projects a user is participating in, as well as Zoom licenses a user is assigned to. User settings can be edited by clicking on the Edit User button and clicking Save after the changes have been made. And in the last available tab, Zoom, you can find all the information regarding managing Zoom license pools and licenses, available only if any are included in your subscription. In the Starter and Connected plans, only one license pool is available while in the Enterprise plan you can create multiple license pools. In the license pools you can review which users are assigned to the specific license pool, as well as manage user license access and borrowing rights. Now that you know how to manage your administration page, watch the next video to learn more about the BIM Collab workflow.